Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason with devslopes.com and in this video, we're gonna do the last steps and configure Nginx to actually point to our project instead of pointing to this default text here. So let's go ahead and hop to it. All right, so go ahead and open up your terminal or your command line. And right now we're at the root directory. So let's go up a level and list things out. And where we wanna be, is in the etc directory. This is where we're gonna be able to access nginx and configure it. So cd etc, and if we list this out, there's a huge list of things in here. And somewhere in the middle of this, there is nginx right here. Cool. So go type in cd, I'm just doing ng tab. Okay, it's gonna auto-complete it for us. And then I'm gonna hit clear to bring me to the top. So I'm in the Nginx directory, and we've got a couple of things here for us. So the two things that we're gonna be working with to finish things up is we're gonna be working with these two directories, okay? Now a droplet on DigitalOcean can actually hold multiple websites. So a droplet is a single server, and you can load like three or four websites on it, for an example. So say you have four websites, you would put those uh, files, I'll show you how to create this in a moment, you're gonna put those files in sites available. But say that you only have two of those websites that are actually active and live. Um, you're going to link the uh, sites from available into enabled that are gonna be live. So that way your server can find it. So let's go ahead and dive into the sites available. So CD sites available. And we've, we list this out, we have this default uh, pointer here. And what this file is doing, let me just show you. So I'm just uh, using Vim. So what it's doing is it's pointing to that HTML folder right here, which was created when we installed Nginx, which holds uh, this default uh, placeholder text right there. So that's where it's pointing right now and we don't want it to point there. Now technically what I could do is I could come into here and I could edit this file. But what you really want to do is you want to create a new file for every single project that you have. That way you're not like tampering with original settings here. So we're gonna create a new file. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this. Um, shift colon X, there we go. And we're gonna dive over here into the tutorials. So we're gonna do install Nginx. So we've already done this, but there's a, a part of this at the very bottom that we haven't done yet. Step number five, I think, right here. So setting up server blocks, okay? We've already made the directory in our www directory, okay? That's when we pulled in our project from GitHub. And what we need to do now, this is just setting up some example HTML. What we want to do is copy this right here. You can copy the snippet of this out of the default folder, but it's just a huge massive like chunk of comments and code mixed in. If you want a clean, concise thing, uh, we're just gonna copy this. And then let's go over to our terminal. And let's see, we're in sites available, right? Let me list out things. So we're gonna do touch. And then we're gonna name this file the name of our website. That way, if we add more files to this directory, we can keep them easily organized. So it's called eat sleep code dot space all right and then if we vim into this we're going to hit i to insert command v to paste this and then let's just do some editing here so our root we don't want it to hit this html uh, folder the project we pulled into here mine was called uh, my hosting Okay, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna look in this root directory and it's going to search for any index, index HTML, index HTM, and here's the Nginx Debian HTML file that it's originally pulling. But it's gonna go into this directory and look for any index file to pull from. Okay, and then over here, let's go ahead and edit this stuff. So we'll do www. Um, eat sleep. Oh my gosh, I forgot what it was. Eat sleep code dot space. 
and then we'll go ahead and update this one. Eat sleep code dot space. So this is how it's going to resolve uh, these domains for us. All right, so that's it. So let's go ahead and save that. So we're going to hit escape colon W to write and Q to quit. All right, so now we've got that set up and we need to work in this directory here. So we've got this in available in our sites available, but it needs to be linked to our sites enabled so that Nginx knows to load this. So we're going to do, we're going to go back a directory and we're going to go to, actually, you know what? Let's just go to the root level here. So go to your root level, back completely out, okay? And then there is a command that we're going to do right here. Okay, and what this does is the ln means that it's going to link and it's going to link the file we just made in sites available to sites enabled for us. So if we just copy this and then put in your uh, name of the project, e sleep code dot space, do a space, and then copy this, all right, and press enter. Perfect. Great. Now, the last thing we want to do, since we were working with uh, some of the configurations of Nginx, we just want to go ahead and restart it. So let's uh, come down here. Actually, the command's going to be up here, I think. Now nah, it's got to be here. It's in front of my face somewhere. Right here. So systemctl restart Nginx. So go ahead and paste that. And there you go. So what should happen now is if we go to eat sleep code dot space, we should have everything properly configured on Nginx, everything pointing to the right spots. And this domain should now hit my actual project instead of the default template Nginx stuff it was before. So let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> and there it is. So this is the uh, skeleton project that I had set up. So we have successfully just configured Nginx to point to our actual project on our server. So now anytime somebody hits this domain, it's going to hit the project and load what it's supposed to do. So that is a wrap. Congratulations on getting hosting set up for your website. <music>